Hello, and welcome to Weekend Projects. This weekend, you're going to be able to make the game of life. This is a kit from our store that you can build and watch these little artificial life forms live and die. John Conway created this game as a computer program that ran on those old school computers back in 1970. There are a few simple rules. If a live cell is too crowded with too many other cells around it, it dies as if by overpopulation. If a cell doesn't have very many things around it, it dies as if by loneliness. And if a cell has, if a dead cell has three live cells around it, it comes to life. These really cool patterns emerge. Check them out. Here's a software version of this game. You can see that I've populated the board with some yellow dots, and now I'm going to go ahead and start the game and see what happens. The game goes until everything comes to a resting point, or there's a few patterns like this one that's wiggling back and forth that are just an ending point. It'll do that forever. Conway offered a $50 prize to anybody who could make up a pattern that would, just, that would never die and that would keep evolving. Well, it didn't take long until the Gosper gun was created. The Gosper gun starts like this and then goes and goes and goes. And when the two parts collide, they create, it's like a gun because they create gliders and the gliders shoot off and it keeps making these gliders which shoot off to the edge of the screen. Thus, the game goes on. This hardware version of the Game of Life, the Life Board, was created at MIT for freshmen to learn through-hole soldering. It's a great way to begin soldering, and if you have a bunch of friends who make them, you can hook them all together, and it expands the board. Get your kit, get your soldering iron, get some solder, and get ready to go. Wait, where? recommend that you do is that you start off soldering the resistors first since they're the closest to the board. Then move on to the capacitors, then the LEDs. I started with the LEDs and it made it a little hard to get to the little, to the little resistors and capacitors. There's a little tip for you. I've added power in the form of a 9 volt battery. You can actually use any voltage from 6 to 12 volts because it's got a power regulator on it right there. And now I've got a switch right here so that I can go ahead and reset it all the time. I'm going to go ahead and let's fire this thing up. The game of life really shines when you add more boards. There's four boards here, and I hooked up a normally closed switch to this, so when I press it, it'll go ahead and start and go through the whole sequence. Let's turn off the lights and check this out in more detail. Line, line. Dead, dead. fun and this life board is a great kit to get started on. Go ahead and get it, solder it on up and you'll be really proud. You can go ahead and play it as much as you want. And if you want you can go ahead and get a bunch of them, put them all together and watch all the patterns emerge. You get to see more of the patterns with more boards. If you could get like 20 friends together, put them all together, I'll take video, I want to see that. Okay, go out there, do some soldering, have a great weekend.